up kids, it's Michael here and let me bring you up to speed with everything going on around here. My friends and I just got back from a super crazy adventure where we had to try and find and hunt down for a missing book of bottom lines. And well, you're gonna have to watch and see if we did or not. But it was a pretty wild ride and now to keep the excitement going and to have even more crazy fun, we're going to compete in a balloon relay. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. What? Oh, hey. D did you just say that you were gonna win? Yes, absolutely. <sighs> hey, Sea of Kids, it's Gabby. And you can ignore what Michael just said because there is no way that he's gonna beat me in the balloon relay. <laughs> we'll see about that, Gabby. Well, while Melissa, Chris, and Danny get the balloon race ready for us, we should have a little fun with the Sea of Kids. Okay, with that, I agree. That's right. a great idea. Everybody on your feed! Because it's time to play What Is It? The exciting game show where we answer the important question, What Is It? You can make your choice by either sitting or standing, depending on which answer you think is correct. We've got six exciting rounds planned for you today, so let's get this party started with round number one of What Is It? I have no idea what this could be, but if you think it's bees, then stand up or take a seat if you think it's a sea slug. All right, let's find out. What is it? It's a sea slug. If you chose bees, ouch, that must sting. <laughs> oh, sometimes I crack myself up. Anyway, looks like it's time for round two. Go ahead and stand up if you think this is a yummy piece of candy. But take a seat if you think this is actually a pool float. That's it, time to find out what is it? It's a pool float, whoa, good thing nobody tried to take a bite out of that. Ah, let's see what we've got for round number three. You know the drill. Stand if you think this is a bunch of french fries. Or sit if you think this is a sea anemone. Time's up. Let's find out. What is it? It's french fries. Ooh, hmm. You know what goes great with french fries? A hamburger! But is this a hamburger or a bald man's head? All right, it's time to find out. What is it? It's a bald man! Oh, if you chose hamburger, it looks like you'll be having that with a side of burn. <laughs> Get it? Because he has Sideburns, and uh, you uh, you got it wrong. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, round five. Stand up if you think this is a polar bear, and sit down if you think it's a lava lamp. Time is up. What is it? It's a polar bear. All right, it's time for our final round. Stand up if you think this is a cat. And take a seat if you think it's a rug. Time is up. What is it? It's a cat. Oh, congratulations to everyone who had a perfect game. We have no prizes to give you other than the fond memories you will always have of our time together playing. What is it? That game was so fun. Did you like it, Michael? Yeah, it was pretty good. But I'm definitely ready to see if the balloon race is all set up already. Me too. But Michael, are you sure you're ready for this? Gabby, I was born ready. As a matter of fact, I eat balloons for breakfast every day. 
Michael. Yes. You shouldn't eat balloons for breakfast. That's dangerous. You could choke. Plus, balloons are made out of harmful materials. Okay, Cavi, I don't actually eat balloons. A of all, that's gross. That's Second of all, it's dangerous. Don't try that at home. And it's just a saying, you know, like it's gonna be easy peasy for me, you know? Well, you should have said that and stop with the Melissa-isms. That's for Melissa only. Okay, well, true. Okay, let's read the instructions so we can get ready for the relay and I can win already. Okay, all right, balloon relay instructions. Number one, pop the small balloons of your color first. All right, number two, spin around three times. Number three. Find the small pencil and use it for the next step. Oh, I wonder where that pencil is. And number four, pop the large balloons of your color with the pencil, but with one hand behind your back. Then number five, complete five jumping jacks. Can we do jumping unicorns? Well, we'll see. <laughs> number six, pop the white balloons while hopping on one foot. Okay, is it just me or are these instructions a little bit complicated? Yeah, they do seem a little complex. I mean, I don't understand. Why can't we just go in there and pop whatever balloon we want? Do we really need to follow every single part of these instructions? Of course we do. We can't just go in there and do whatever we want. Michael, the instructions were given for a reason, so we have to follow them. <sighs> Fine. Okay, now let's go. Ah! See if kids, you know the drill. A brand new series means a brand new challenge card. Want in on the action? Here's what to do. Watch all five weeks of See if Kids Online. Heads up, that's what you're doing right now. Learn your memory verse. We have a game coming to help you with that. Complete the family mission. Stay tuned for ideas on how to complete it. And lastly, invite a friend to come to church or watch online with you. Get to it! Whoa! <laughs> this looks awesome! It sure does. Are you ready? Oh, let's <laughs> do it! Let's go! Three, two, one. Go! Hey CF Kids, looking to complete your challenge card? Then you'll need to complete your family missions too. This month, we want you to show your teachers some appreciation. And we even have some ideas to help you out. You can show your teachers some love by praying for them, writing a thank you card, giving a sweet gift, or offering the help in the classroom. No matter which you choose, Make sure to let your teacher know how much you care 
and appreciate all they have done this year. I knew I would win. That was so awesome. Whoa, what? you should say that you won. Who uh-huh. says that you won? Me, in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, at one point you looked so confused out there while we were doing the relay. Confused? More like lost because <laughs> I didn't remember any of the instructions. And I couldn't find that pencil! I know, I know, which is why I have to say I'm really proud of you for sticking with it. You were very resilient. Thanks. Uh, you know, actually what was the trickiest part for me was that I didn't have a teammate to like cheer me on or like, hey, the instructions are there, remember the instructions, the pencil is there, you know. It was just, that was very tricky. That's true. It does make it more intimidating when you have to do things alone. So what did you do? How did you get over that? Ah, I remember something I learned a while ago. Remember children, you are never really alone. God is always with you. So in the middle of that crazy race, you were remembering something that you learned ages ago? Okay, first of all, it wasn't ages ago. But yes, I was having flashbacks. It actually helps me to go super fast. Really? Oh, I'll have to try that. Yeah. Did you remember anything else? Oh yeah, actually I remembered I found a nickel that day on the floor. And I also had a turkey sandwich for lunch. Oh, and I was wearing SpongeBob SquarePants socks. Wow, your memory is pretty impressive. Yes, it is. But I actually meant, did you remember anything else about the lesson? Oh, yeah, it was fire. <laughs> Literally fire. Check it out. This is Jesus. hey Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. Huh? hey ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Well, if you think about it, the disciples were given some really hard instructions to follow, just like us in the balloon relay, but way harder. Way harder for sure. Not only did the Jewish religious leaders hate them, but the Roman government did too. And they were in danger everywhere they went. Yikes. And despite that danger, Jesus still commanded them to tell as many people as they could about him. 
I'm sure the hardest part about that command is that they would have to do it without their best friend Jesus by their side. He had gone back to heaven, and now I'm sure the disciples were feeling super alone. Yeah, but of course, as we saw, they were never really alone. God sent the Holy Spirit to guide them. That's right. Then knowing that God was with them, gave the disciples the resiliency they needed to follow their instructions. Yeah, and since God was with them, the amount of believers grew every day. They were unstoppable. It's good to know that the same God that was with the disciples way back when is also with us today. Yeah, and that means you too, Sea of Kids. God is always with you. Amen. And it's pretty much reason 5,257,433 on my list of why we should worship God. <laughs> Wow, that sounds like a pretty extensive list, Michael. But <laughs> I agree, we should definitely worship and always thank God for being with us. Hey, -o, let's go! had a balloon race, but are you up for one more challenge today? Gabby, I eat challenges for, you know what, never mind. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Sweet. Well, let's see how you do with this memory verse challenge. Oh, snap.
your memory verse skills are pretty impressive. Hey, you know why? That's because I... Don't you dare say that you eat memory verses for breakfast. <laughs> I wasn't. I was going to say it's because I want to complete my challenge card. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, see if kids, we are all out of time today. Gabby and I are going to start setting up a balloon relay for Melissa and Chris to complete. Yeah, so be sure to be back next week so you can watch it all go down. Oh yeah, for now, let's close our time together with some prayer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bow our heads. God, thank you for always being with us. God, this is a promise that you gave the disciples and you have allowed us to receive that promise today as well. God, be with us this week as we go about our day, Father. And Father, we're thankful that we can just talk to you, God. That is a good gift from you. Father, be with all the Sea of Kids that are watching us and their families. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Bye, Bye Sea, sea of Kids. Kids. Don't know what to get your mother this Mother's Day? Sea of Kids has got you covered. On Mother's Day weekend, May 8th, Sea of Kids. You will be singing on stage and showing off your awesome worship moves and fantastic singing voices in the adult worship service. Imagine how happy all the moms will be. Be sure to learn and practice the song. You can find the Mother's Day worship song on the CF Kids Miami YouTube channel. Search CF Kids Mother's Day worship song.